Hello everybody, welcome to a- another episode of Scriptmas, I believe this is episode 9! Let's get on to it. So basically today I'm going to be teaching you how to use remote events. These are a very very simple concept and I think you'll get the hang of it, uh, very easily. First thing that I'm going to have is my remote event in uh, replicated storage. I suggest keeping it in replicated storage. I just feel like that's the easiest. Now what I'm going to do is just insert in a script and just make a simple function. So this function basically means when the player joins, it is going to play whatever is in here. So now obviously you could have whatever function you have. You could have tons and lines of code in here. And then finally at the end, you want it to play this uh, well, remote event. So what I'm just going to have is just the remote event in here and nothing else. The first thing that I'm actually going to do is uh, make a variable. I'm going to put this variable as local uh, RS, which stands for replicated storage in my mind at least, equals game dot replicated storage. Inside of here, what I'm going to type and make sure to copy this in my direct uh, typing rs dot and then the name of your uh, remote event so mine is tutorial rs dot tutorial colon fire server now this basically fires the remote event so once this line has been processed it is going to uh well fire this what i'm going to do is just insert in a script in server script service and in the script this is where i'm going to identify the remote events now what i've done in a few games past i just have one big script in server script service where i have every single one of my remote events identified i feel as it works very very well and I'd recommend it to you guys as well. So again, I'm just going to put the local RS variable um, because we will need this for this script as well. Local RS equals game dot replicated storage. Now make sure to copy this in my exact words. So this is going to basically be the function that plays the uh, remote of RS dot tutorial dot on server event colon connect function now this is exactly what you want to have and make sure it is in these exact same words in here you can put anything you want and it's just going to play that once this has been triggered and this can be very very useful especially if you have if you want to play certain events in a ton of different scripts it's not efficient to just keep copy and pasting and writing out things you could shorten a ton of lines by just having this in a ton of different scripts and this is only one line where you could be having multiple and then multiple and then multiple lines in this and you just could be saving time and a ton and a ton of lines if you just do this thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed give it a like if it helped you out also give it a like and uh yeah See you in episode 10! Almost halfway there.